you should explain what? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, is it applicable? Oh, what? what does it mean? <laughs> what? The word is it? Apocalypse. The word, huh? Apocalypse. Oh, what does it mean? <laughs> is that the end of the world, no? Cassia cannot just come and kill herself. She cannot come and start pretending about what she do not know. When they mentioned the word apocalypse, Cassia did not understand this. She simply asked them, what is the meaning of the word? In fact, the word, she couldn't even pronounce it, but she wanted to know the meaning. Nobi said she could just carry word for her head. Meanwhile, she does not know what it simply means. I really like how she stayed true to herself. She asked them the actual meaning, and thank God that Sean knew exactly the meaning and Sean told her the meaning. And guys, I, I think that part was a kind of funny. It was even how she was laughing and asking them, even when she cannot pronounce it very well, but she just wanted to know the exact meaning. No room and time for pretense. Anyways, that part was a kind of very, very funny to me, to be quite frank with all of you guys. And I decided, you know, to bring it up here. There was a conversation that happened between Cassia and Kelly last night. And honestly speaking, it is the way Cassia have been looking out for her man, Kelly Ray. It's as if you just, you know, you just enter the house again, like on your own, as it is. Mm. And that's how, that's how you do what you do there, so you just enter the house again on your own. Guys, on that dining, when Kelly Ray and Cassia were eating, a lot happened there, ranging from the mini bus boats over meat. When Cassia asked her husband, Kelly Ray, did you bite meat? And Kelly Ray was just like, yes, wait till it happen. And the wife asked him, ah, which one body they prepare you like this? Wait till be, wait till happen. And guys, immediately, Kelly Ray just changed it for Cassia. In fact, when they were having that, you know, I am small argument, I be small bass bulls over the meat. The way Victoria was just staring at them like, what did these people they do? Guys, it really cracked me up badly. Till on the dining, while they were eating, Cassia was telling her husband that when Big Brother told them that they should go to the diary room and campaign for a vote, that she wanted to ask Big Brother if they could campaign for another person because she wanted to campaign for her husband as well. And Kelire was telling her that, no, you cannot campaign for any other person, that it is just like you going into the Big Brother Niger house and you, you are just there on your own like It is not for you to campaign for another person. I'm just like, uh-huh. So be you all would just be going on social media saying, that Kelly Ray is a chronic cheat that the people that want him to win the money are doing so in order for him to continue his cheating but there is no problem there is no even bad blood between Cassia and her husband so there is all this narrative flying up and down coming from you all should support them in peace and stop you know if you want to support anybody in that house you should support the person in peace and stop all this blah 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 yadi 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 most times uh, it irritates it, it me a lot most especially when the people involved are not even having any bad blood or bad energy against each other away from that ladies and gentlemen it may seem as though ever since Ebuka announced to this housemate on Sunday that they didn't bring anything to the table. In fact, their content creation was zero. Last week, according to Ebuka, it may seem as though ever since they had this, Sean and Wani, they are seriously trying their possible best to make sure that this content is being created at all costs. Honestly speaking, they have been trying their best to, you know, creating content, being jovial, being playful. In fact, take a pretty look at this one, Sha. I'm going to kiss her. What the fuck? I'm going to kiss her. Don't kiss her. That's how it's going to be like. Honestly speaking, they are trying as much as they can to create funny content, you know, to make sure that they entertain the viewers. I understand that. But you see this one of touching each other's private parts in public, even when other housemates are there. Honestly speaking, it is so, so weird. And I find it very, very cringe. Wani said that she knows that Sean likes it whenever she massage and touch his dick. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are not against them doing that, but why not take it under the duvet or take it away from the view of this general housemate? Like, whenever they are doing it in the presence of this other housemate, to be quite frank with all of you guys, it do irritate me because, uh-uh, this is private something that you people can go and do in private. Camera will still capture you people. Must you all do it in the presence of this other housemate? The other day, Sean was pressing Wani's nipple in the presence of 
this other housemaid. I'm just like, I know you people are eager to create content, but must it be this kind of content in the presence of other housemates? I, I know you people will be like, eh, they are adult, they can do whatsoever they want to do, they can do this one and that one. Yes, I am not stopping them from doing what they want to do. Camera is all over the place in the house. They can just go where they will be all by themselves or they can go under the duvet and camera will capture it and will decode it. Besides, all the ones that they have been doing under the duvet will be talking about it so they don't really need to be using it to inconvenience other housemates before we know that they are creating sexual content guys like eh uh you can say whatever you want to say under the comment section. That's your opinion. But what I am saying here is my own humble opinion. Um, I they drag me. But, you know, it will not stop me from saying what's on my mind. And what I think is the truth. Judging from my own background. Yes, I am looking at this whole thing happening on the screen from, you know, my own perspective. And, guys, that's just it, Sha. A lot of you guys are brutal. The way you people drag me under the comment section. No be small thing, Sha. In fact, voice shaming me is bad. Stop voice shaming me. It is just my own humble truth that I am here saying. Well, you people will not even stop me from analyzing and telling you guys the truth based on how I see things. Moving forward, guys. Finally, finally, Big Brother have ended up doing the right thing. Henceforth, conspiracy is no longer permitted. Okay, thank you. You are not allowed to conspire or discuss nominations for the rest of your stay. In the big brother house guys it was the way when he turned and looked at tj when tj said yes big brother immediately big brother said henceforth conspiracy are not allowed in big brother Niger house honestly speaking i really like the fact that big brother have finally addressed it once and for all telling this has me that conspiracy discussing nomination in big brother Niger house is no longer permitted it is now a crime to do that in big brother Niger house i know wani sean and handy they are definitely going to be very very disappointed and i'm seriously going to watch out to see how they are going to navigate their way through this big brother Niger season nine season without discussing nomination because that is what sean is very very good at doing and Analyzing and speaking of people that are strong and people that are weak, people they should put up and people they shouldn't put up in order for them to survive in Big Brother Niger house. Recruiting people, in fact, he also recruit people to join their member in order for them to still be in Big Brother Niger house. Now that it is now a crime to do that in Big Brother Niger house, I hope they will not forget and start discussing it because Big Brother would definitely punish them severely if they intentionally or unintentionally, adventently or inadvertently engage in that kind of discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, I really think that this place will be the nice place for me to end this particular video so that it will not be very, very lengthy and boring. Go ahead, let me know your thoughts in the comment section without being rude and insulting. Subscribe to my channel if you don't subscribe. Click on the notification bell button and do not forget to like and share my video with your friends and loved ones that like. Big Brother Gist.